All right, what's up everybody? Today's lesson is on using the smart drums um, instrument. So we're kind of working our way through all the different instruments that we can use. The smart drums one is up next. All right, I'm gonna use this uh, um, loop I made the other day with the guitar loop. All right, so that's gonna be um, the loop that I base my drum track off of. All right. So let that play for a minute now. Um, so I'm gonna hit plus. All right, then I'm gonna go to instruments and I'm gonna slide over to the drums. And here I'm gonna click smart drums. All right, so I'm going to smart drums. All right, notice that the outlook, what it looks like here. So first notice on the bottom it says quiet and up here at the top it says loud. That means um, going from bottom up, it's gonna be quieter if you place it down there and it's gonna be louder if we place it up to the, towards the top. And from left to right, we have simple to complex. All right, so if we place something over here to the left, it's gonna be a simple beat. If we place it over here to the right, it's gonna be more complex or syncopated. All right, and we drag our different instruments onto here. So I'm gonna drag my kick and place it up here in the loud, as far left in the simple. All right, so you can hear it start to um, play with the music. All right, then if I drag it here to the right, it'll be more complex and more syncopated. So notice the difference. I notice how we get more hits in, more kicks in with that sound. All right, so you can play with it until you find one that you like, how it, um, how it goes with your song. All right, so I think I'm gonna keep mine somewhere in there, all right? Next, I'm gonna grab my snare. So again, um, the kick and the snare are your two foundational sounds in your drum. So again, I'm gonna place it right in the middle, a little more towards the simple side. All right, I'm liking how that sounds, all right? Um, next thing I'm gonna grab is my clap. All right, I'm gonna make my clap a little more complex to give it some syncopation with the snare drums. All right, mess around till you find one you like. Let's see how it sounds over here on the simple side. Notice how I have it a little bit louder than my snare, just because I want my clap um, to stand out a little more than my snare. I just want you to see the difference from simple to complex, all right? Now I'm gonna bring in my hi-hats. I'm gonna start it very simple and a little bit quieter. And I want it a little bit louder, so I'm gonna drag it up. I want a little more hit, so I'm gonna bring it to the middle, make it a little more complex. All right, I'm liking how that sounds, all right? Now I can bring my cymbals in. The cymbals are the crash that you hear, the crashing sound, all right? So I'm gonna have it a little bit louder than the other um, hi-hats. I'm gonna bring it a little bit softer just because I don't want it to be as loud. I want a little more simpler sound. I'm gonna drag the shaker on. All right, you hear that? The shaker provides a little more percussion, a little more rhythm in there with it. All right, and there we go. I like, um, I'm liking how this sounds. So here I have my um, drum beat that I like. So now I'm gonna hit record and just let it record um, four bars for me. All right, and there's my four bars. Just record, so if I go back to my live loops, my loop will be there that I can play with my guitar. All right, I have my full um, kind of drum loop there, but um, good practice in building your drums is to then take your full drum loop there and then pair it back to simple sounds that can build up in your song. Um, so right now I have all the sounds playing, but uh, I'm gonna get rid, I'm gonna hit the power button to stop it. And I'm gonna take out um, some of my other sounds. I'm gonna take out my clap, my hi-hats, the shaker, and the cymbals. I'm just gonna leave the kick and the snare, because again, that's the foundation. And I'm gonna record just that part. So I hit record, I'm gonna get four bars of that. 
and that'll just give me my kick and my snare. Notice how it's a different feel without all the other sounds. All right, so now I got that. All right, and then you'll see there in your live loops, it, it places right there. So now I'm gonna go to the third box and hit record. All right, next, I'm just gonna drag in one more sound, the hi-hats. I'm gonna build up from the kick and the snare drum, add the hi-hats in. All right, now I'm gonna record this so that I get um, a loop with just my kick, snare, and hi-hat. All right, the reason I'm doing this is that um, we first started with our full kit of all the sounds that we liked. Then I made the second one with just the kick and the snare. And now I made this one with the kick, snare, and hi-hat. Now the reason we do that, I'll show you right here, is that you it builds the sound within your song. So first I'm going to play my basic one with just the kick and the snare. Right, notice how that's a nice simple feeling. Now I'm going to add in the hi-hat one right here. All right, let that marinate for a second. And then you let it go to the full drum kit sound with all the sounds in it. All right, notice how that builds up that sound. So you start with that full drum kit sound that you made and then you um, record other ones taking away different sounds and that's how you begin building up the sound in your song. So that's how you use the smart drums. Um, your goal today is to get a smart drum loop um, recorded within your song.